Hare Krishna, my name is Hans. I'm a monk, uh, I'm a member of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And today we're presenting this festival, Festival uh, of India. It's called Festival Hare Krishna also. It's more known to the people. And yesterday we had a very special parade. So there was a huge chariot that we, we had on the, uh, uh, going on the Santaran Street. And it's, it's, uh, it's coming from India, like there's, a, there's an, a special festival in India that's been there for thousands of years. And uh, it's in uh, Jagannath Puri in India. And every year there's millions of people who uh, pull three huge chariots. And it's, uh, it's to try to, uh, the symbolism of this uh, festival is to try to bring, uh, try to go back to herself and try to bring the divine in our heart. The purpose of the festival is to introduce to people to present an alternative lifestyle to the society. A lifestyle that is more spiritual based on vegetarianism, meditation, yoga, philosophy that helps us to connect more with the self and develop loving relationships between each other. So on the festival we have like, uh, well what attracts a lot of people, we can see right now there's a huge line, there's a free vegetarian feast. So this attracts hundreds of people every day. There's one aspect of yoga about food, actually. Uh, we have this kind of meditation about food. We, we try to cook in a higher consciousness. When we cook, we try to cook with love and devotion. And because it is said that, you know, Einstein was said there was there's different energies, there's different vibrations. So it explains in our philosophy that when you cook in a certain mood or set a certain feeling, it, it, uh, it, it brings vibration to the food that we cook. So for example, if someone cooks with anger, then it says that the, the anger will, will be transmitted to the food. So it's because of vibrations, because the thought process, or the thoughts that we have, the feelings, it has, it has like a, a, an impact on our surroundings. Just when we speak with others, we always meet very nice people at the festival. People who are open-minded, who have a taste for spirituality, who want to understand more about life, or trying to go deeper, uh, in their spiritual life. In Montreal we have a, we have a center and there's, we are six monks in Montreal. But basically we travel a lot across Canada. We try to bring some peace, help people get free from stress. We present different lifestyles, or which, different techniques of meditation, just to try to help people raise their consciousness and be more in touch with their self. The community in Montreal is around uh, 1,000, 1,500 people. And we have uh, what is called a Sunday feast, where like the congregation come to the center, and every Sunday around 150, 200 people come to the center. So this is our, Montreal is our base, but we travel a lot across Canada. Like this summer, for the rest of the summer, we'll, we have a bus, so we'll spend the rest of the summer in the east coast of Canada. So we'll go in the Maritimes in uh, New Brunswick. Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland. And we go around, we present books to people, uh, we do meditation workshops. And uh, so we just try to uh, present to people this alternative lifestyle, this yoga lifestyle. That's what this is our main uh, focus. We try to present the yoga lifestyle to people.